of cognitive assessment number 11 for Maasir book, the lesson 6 and 7, unit 2. Question number 1. Two numbers. The prime factors of the first are 2, 3, and 5. And the prime factors of the second was what? The first number would be what? 2 times 3 times 5, 2 times 3 6, 6 times 5 equals 30. It's the first number. And the second number, he gives us the prime factors of it. 2, 2, 3, and 5. 2 times 30 equals 60. Then the second number will be what? Will be 60. Is the first number will be what? 30. And second number will be what? 60. He won't find the greatest common factor between two numbers here. The greatest common factor will be what? Will be 30. Why? Because 60 can divide it by 30. 60 can divide it by 30, then the greatest common factor between them it will be 30. And what about least common multiplication between them? It will be 60 because 60 can divide it by 30. Okay? Next question. Number two, complete. Letter A, the common multiple for all numbers, it will be zero. The common multiple for all numbers, it will be what? Zero. But the common or the factor, factor for all numbers will be what? Will be one. The factors of all numbers will be one. The common factors for all numbers one. But the common multiple of all numbers will be zero. Letter B. The common factor for numbers here, I will I solve it from two, two seconds here. Okay, remember, the common factor for all numbers is one. One is the common factor for all numbers, but zero is the common multiple for all numbers. Question letter C. Seven thousand or seven thousand, seven thousand plus... 70 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.007 it will be what we can write this number in a standard form write the first number here 7000 and what and 70 7000 and 70 and what 720 thousandths Understood? Again, in this example, we won't find what? We won't find the sum of all numbers. 7 here lies in 1000, right? 7 in 1000. 7 lies in teens, right? 7 in teens. We have into 1s and teens. Or 1s and hundreds, right? 0 and 0. We have here 7 in tenses and 7 in thousandths. Then the result will be 7,070 hundredths. Or this point again seven thousand seventy and seven hundred seven thousand. Okay, my students, can you read this number with me again? Again, seven thousand seventy and seven hundred seven thousand. Again, my students, look at it's a point again seven thousand seventy. We called it what seven thousand seventy and. Seven hundred seven thousand fifth. Question letter D. Nine thousand five hundred sixty one divided by one hundred. We must move the point left hand side by two digits. We must put zero here behind the point and move it. It will be what nine. And five and six and one and put the point after two digits. Move here to the left hand side. It will be ninety five and sixty one hundredths. Question letter E. Three point five plus sixteen point zero one and four. We can eat them, put double zero behind this number, and write point 
100 point here and write 16 and 0 1 or 4 to find the result 4 plus 0 equal 4 and 0 plus 1 equal 1 5 plus 0 equal 5 3 plus 6 equal 9 and then the result will be 19 and 514,000 total letter F Seven hundred fifth subtract by thirty five thousand fifth equal space thousand fifth. We can find the difference first by put here zero behind this number. You must put zero here to find the difference in the same best form. Zero minus five, we can do it. Borrow one from seven. Seven will be what? Will be six. And 0 will be 10. 10 minus 5 equal 5. 6 minus 3 equal 3. 0 minus 0 equal 0. The result will be 35,000. We must write here 35 in the space. Write 35. Okay. Write 35 in space. My students, okay. Understood? Write 35 about coach letter F. Coach letter G. 27 equals 3 times. Space hence 27 is multiple of space and is also multiple of space. We know 27 equal what? Equals 3 times 9. Then you can write here in the first space, you can write 9. And 27 is multiple of space and also multiple of what? 9 and 1, we know multiple of 3 and 9. You must write 9 here because 27 equal 3 times 9. You must write 9 in first space. 27 is multiple of what? 3 and 9. Understood? The result here in the first space about which letter G. Write 9. And the next space, right? 3. And the last space, right? 9 here. Okay? Because 27 equals 3 times 9. Hence, 27 is multiple of 3 and it uh, and is also multiple of 9. Question number 3. Find the grid score factor of 6 and 4. Okay? You want to find the grid score factor or list score multiplication? List commutation. Okay, we want to find the list commutation between two numbers here, six and four. We know six equal two times three, and four equal two multiple by two. Then we want to find what multiple of six. The multiple of six it will be what? It will be 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. And what about, about multiples of 4? Multiples of 4, it will be 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. We must eat 4 in all these steps. Then, the common multiples of 4 and 6 other than 0 we have what we have 12 and 24 12 and 24 and 36 and so on we must eat 20 uh, eight 12 to the result here okay the least multiplication between them here was 12. The list commutation will be what? 12. You must know all the steps about this example. First, we can factorize it. 6 equal 2 times 3 and 4 equal 2 times 2. Find multiples of 6, multiples of 4. The common multiples between them right here, 12 and 24 and 36 and so on. Then the list commutation will be what? Will be 12. Question number four, 
finds a least common multiplication of 12 and 9. We know 9 can't be divided by 12. Then we must add what 12 to 12 equal to 24. 24 can't be divided by 9. Then we must add again 12 to 24. The result will be 36. 36 can be divided by 9. Then 36 is the least common multiplication between 12 and 9. We know 12 equal what by using factorization. So number 12 equal 2 times 4 or 2 times 6, 2 times 6. And 6 equal 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 2 equal 12. And 9 equal 3 multiplication by 3. Okay. We can use this method to find the least common multiplication between them. Write 2 and 2 and 3 and 3. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 9 equals 36. Then the least common multiplication between them equals what? Equals 36. You can use this method or factorization 12 equals 2 times 6. And 6 equals 2 times 3. And we know 9 equals 3 multiplication by 3 using factorization. And we draw the circles between common factors here. Prime factors. 2 and 3. Here, 2 and 3 and 2. And here, 3 and 3. The common between them, 3. Okay. In this circle, put one digit. And right here, 2 and 2. And here, 3 and here, 3. Okay, the list quantification will be what? Will be 12. Next question here, use the prime factorization of each of the following numbers to find the least common multiplication. You want to find using factorization, okay? We can using the methods, about 8 and 24 factorization them. We know 8 equal, 8 equal, uh, 2 times 4 and 4 equal 2 times 2 we know 24 equal 3 times 8 and 8 equal 2 times 4 and 4 equal 2 times 2 8 equal we can write the factorization here 2 times 2 times 2 and 24 will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and then drawing a circle to find the least common multiplication between them least common multiplication right here 2 and 2 and 2 and 3 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2 equal 8. 8 times 3 equal 24. The least common multiplication between 8 and 24 is 24. You know, 24 can divide by 8. Then 24 is the least common multiplication between them. And 8 is the greatest common factor between 28 and 24 and 8. Okay. Next question. Question here, little p. 10. 12 and 15. 10 equal 2 times 5. And 12 equal 6 times 2. And 6 equal 2 times 3. And what about 15? 15 equal 3 multiplication by 5. Then you can write 10 equal 2 times 5. And 12 equal 2 times 3 times 2 2 times 3 times 2 and 15 equal 3 times 5 write 5 here okay and what and 3 write 3 here and 5 outside okay my students circles and circles and circles and circle it. Use a curve here and write one digit from each curve you draw here. We have closed curve it here one, two, three, four, five. Then a least common multiplication two times five times three times two times five. 
it will be what can you find the result with me 2 times 5 equal 10 3 times 2 equal 6 6 times 5 equal 30 we have here 5 write 5 here and cancel these digits 2 times 5 10 3 times 2 6 it will be 60 then the result here will be what will be 60 because we have the similar digits here right down it okay 2 and 5 and 3 and 2 the result will be 2 times 5 10 10 times 3 equal 30 3 times 2 equal 60